somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we are taking a look at 2001's Shrek. This one started an absolute monster of sequels and spin-offs and everything else so i'm looking forward to checking this one out uh, i've seen bits and pieces of it and i think you'd probably have to be living under a rock to not know that uh mike myers does a fantastic job as shrek there's eddie murphy as donkey and smash mouth is all over in this so i'm looking forward to seeing this from start to finish so i can start the shrek journey i have seen this before, surprise, surprise, but little known fact is the first time I saw it was actually in Spanish class, so the first time I saw it <laughs> was in Spanish. No idea what was going on, had to be explained a couple of the jokes, but then I saw it in English, loved it, and so I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to see how you guys enjoy it yeah. in English. In English. <laughs> so I have seven nieces and nephews, and now a three-year-old, and as Mason Quinn had said, you pretty much have to live under a rock to not be familiar with the story. I've seen bits and pieces of it on at, you know family get-togethers or whatever if the kids happen to be watching it but as far as sitting down and watching it from start to finish i shouldn't even say start to finish catching more than you know maybe a, a 10 minute clip here yeah. and there um can't say i've done it so of course i'm familiar with shrek and, and donkey and, and smash mouth <laughs> i think that's kind of what what everybody knows it from but uh, again as far as like sitting down watching to start to finish i have not done it and it's 22 years yeah. old 23 years old now and so I'm excited to uh, to watch this with the guys. All right, without further ado, then let's go. Once upon a time, there was a lovely princess, but she had an enchantment upon her of a fearful sort, which could only be broken by love's first kiss. Guarded by a terrible fire-breathing dragon, knights had attempted <clears throat> to free her from this dreadful prison, but none prevailed. <laughs> <laughs> like that's ever gonna happen. <laughs> Tom Lushing. Oh, oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, they... They started right off with they, it. They, of course, if you, uh, a couple of years ago, is there's the meme, I ain't the sharpest tool in the and bam, just people like eating dirt. <laughs> Help us out. Did, was this song made in the, for this movie or did they just use it for the oh, um, I Actually, I heard the story about it. Oh, we'll, we'll talk let, about it. Let them tell you. The it's, uh, it's, a, tell us. it's a pretty good story. Mike Myers has told it. it. Oh, John Lithgow. John Lithgow. He's, he's going to be a villain. Mark my words. He's always a Ever villain. Ever since Cliffhanger. Stop. Get the show on. Yeah. Man, I mean, for 2001, so this is off. some awesome animation. I mean, it's DreamWorks, so I should expect. All right. Let's get it. It'll grind your bones for its bread. Well, actually, that would be a giant. Oh, now, ogre. ogres, <laughs> shave your liver. Squeeze the jelly from your eyes. <laughs> I warn you. There are. This is the part where you run away. <laughs> I wonder how they decided on this they accent. Yeah, fairy tale. He's creature. done that on Saturday Night Live back yeah. in the day. He also did this same uh, accent in uh, "So I Married an Axe Murderer." <laughs> oh no! Wanted fairy tale creatures. So there's, yeah, there's the dwarves. dwarves. Next. This kitty feels three bears. Oh, <laughs> bears. I'll never be stopping again. I can change. Please give me another chance. <laughs> I'm not a puppet. I'm a real boy! <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got a talking donkey. Well, that's good for ten shillings, if you can prove it. <laughs> well. Oh, he's really quite a chatterbox. I've got enough guards. <laughs> no, no, he talks. I swear. <laughs> hey, I can fly! Look <laughs> at Peter Pan. Now I'm a flying talking donkey. <laughs> you might have seen a house fly. <laughs> oh no. Uh -oh. 
Oh, we're off. I am authorized to place you both under arrest. Oh, really? You and what army? <laughs> <laughs> I always love it. We're still spinning. Listen, you was really, really some back here. Incredible. Are you talking to... Well, yes, I was talking to you. Can I just tell you that you was really great back then, man? Those gods, they thought they was all of that. Then you showed up and bam! <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go celebrate your freedom with your own friends? I don't have any friends. God, the animation's wild, isn't it? I mean, considering how old it is, yeah. Why are you following me? Cause I'm all alone. There's no one here beside me. <laughs> oh, well, it's no wonder you don't have any friends. <laughs> 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 Take a look at me. What am I? Oh, uh, <laughs> I love the point of view. Really tall? No, I'm an ogre. <laughs> Doesn't that bother you? <laughs> nope. Oh, man, I like you. Woo! Look at that. We're going to live in a place like that. <laughs> that would be my home. That is a nice boulder. They're just letting Eddie Murphy be Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Now, aren't they? Yep. Pretty much. Yeah. He just gets to write his own line. I'm too. guessing. I like my privacy. You know, I do too. That's another thing we have in common. Can I stay with you? Uh, what? Can I stay with you? Please. <laughs> years back. No. Please! I don't want to go back there. You don't know what it's like to be considered a freak. Please! Please! Okay! But one night only. We can stay up late, swapping manly stories, and in the morning, where do, uh, I sleep? Outside! I guess that's cool. I mean, <laughs> I don't know you, and you don't know me. So. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they do his ears. Wow, Eddie came in hot. I wonder what he's got in there. <laughs> it's a highball. Nice. That's a lot yeah. of wax. <laughs> I thought I told you to stay outside. I am outside. Well, gents, it's a far cry from the farm. <laughs> Three blind mice. <laughs> what are you doing in my house? Oh, no, 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 no. Dead broad off the table. <laughs> <Dead broad. laughs> What? We got the <laughs> I'm a terrifying ogre! Oh, they're oh. all coming to Shrek's house. So this was the uh, relocation. Uh. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay. I wasn't sure if they were hiding out here or if it was the relocation. We were forced to come here. By who? Lord Farquaad. He hoofed and he puffed and he... <laughs> Signed an eviction notice. <laughs> they gave a German oh. accent. <laughs> Do not get comfortable. I'm gonna see this guy Farquad right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming with me. All right, that's what I like to hear, man. On the road again. <laughs> Take it with me, Shrek. I can't wait to get on the road again. Ah, uh, the, the meme for J.D. McDonough in the uh, Judgment Day. <laughs> That's enough. He's ready to fall. Ahem. Now tell me, where are the others? <laughs> Not the buttons. All right then. <laughs> Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? We found it. Well, then what are you waiting for? Bring it in! A mirror. So in Spanish class, I didn't understand the Muffin Man part, and there, oh. everyone's laughing around <laughs> me. I'm like, what are they getting at? Is this not the most perfect kingdom of them all? Technically, you're not a king. But you can become one. All you have to do is marry a princess. It's time for you! To meet today's eligible bachelorettes. <laughs> Bachelorette number one is a mentally abused shut-in from a kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> 
Cinderella. Bachelorette number two is a cape-wearing <laughs> girl from the land of fancy. Although she lives with seven other men, she's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> Bachelorette number three is a fiery redhead from a dragon-guarded castle. She's a loaded pistol who likes pina coladas and getting caught in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> pina coladas. This is Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> three. Three number three, my lord. Ah, uh, number three. <laughs> Princess Fiona. <laughs> <laughs> getting caught in the rain. <laughs> Mention the little thing that happens at night. I'll do it. Yes, but after sunset. Silence! Yes. I will make this Princess Fiona my queen. We are going to have a tournament! <laughs> Lance a lot. <laughs> that must be Lord Farquaad's castle. Hey! You! Look, I'm He's not going to eat you. He's I zigzagging. Just, I, thought, I just... <laughs> 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 his face his smile after it looks like, <laughs> like this too quiet <laughs> Let's do that again. No, 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 no. Sail. <laughs> <laughs> Poor donkey. To go forth and rescue the lovely Princess Fiona. If for any reason the winner is unsuccessful. So dude's not gonna go rescue her no. himself. He's no. gonna have somebody. Oh, else you see there. that though? And so on and so forth. Yeah. <laughs> Let the tournament begin! What is that? Look, it's hideous! Oh, that's not very nice. The one who kills the ogre will be named champion! How about him? Well, we just settle this over the paint. Come on! <laughs> Joan Jett. Is this what I think it is? Yeah. Yeah, it's Joan Jett. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a ring. ring, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Full Nelson, you need to put him in the master lock. <laughs> Head butt. <laughs> I love that he's in a wrestling ring. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I give you our champion! You've won the honor of embarking on a great and noble quest. Go on this quest for me, and I'll give you your swamp back. What kind of quest? You're gonna go fight a dragon and rescue a princess just so Farquaad to give you back a swamp. Maybe there's a good reason donkeys shouldn't talk. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just pull some of that ogre stuff on him? You know, throttle him. There's a lot more to ogres than people think. Ogres are <laughs> like onions. Ogres have layers. Onions have layers. You know, not everybody like onions. Everybody loves cakes. Ogres are not like cakes. Ogres are like onions. End of story. Parfaits may be the most delicious thing. Is <laughs> 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 that Mordor? Yeah, I mean, it kind of looks like a it. mountain of doom. <laughs> you know, the eagles could have just got Shrek and Donkey in. Yeah, they could have just got an eagle flew right in there. <laughs> we must be getting close. <laughs> <laughs> it's hooves. Oh. Oh. Well, I have a, a bit of a confession to make. Um, oh, you can't tell me you're afraid of heights. We'll just tackle this thing together one little baby step at a time. <laughs> really? Don't look down. Look down. Yeah. Look down. Yeah, but you got to make sure you step on. I was going to say, there's a lot of gaps yeah. in there for a duh. Shrek, I'm looking down. Fine. I don't have time for this. You go back. Shrek, no, just wait. don't. No, Shrek. Jesus, dude. Oh. <laughs> It's over lava. <laughs> oh my god. Jack, I'm gonna die. Oh. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. <laughs> Instead of that'll okay. do. Okay. Big, that'll yeah. do. It's like, that's kind of a dick move, isn't it? <laughs> You're afraid. No. Oh, good. Me neither. 
<laughs> there's nothing wrong with being afraid. I sure as heck ain't no coward, I know that. Two things. Shut. Up. Now go over there and see if you can find any stairs. Don't mess with me, I'm the stair master. Right here, right here, now I step all over it. Well, at least we know where the princess is. But where's the... Ooh. <laughs> Look at the wings! <laughs> Look how small they are. That's a pretty cool dragon. Oh, I guess they're not. Uh-oh. Oh, what large teeth you have! I mean, I, mean, I mean, white sparkling teeth. That is one dazzling smile you got there. And you know what else? You know what else? You're... you're... A girl dragon! Oh, sure, I mean... <laughs> You're just reeking oh. of it. <laughs> 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 he just shakes the shit out of her! <laughs> now let's go! But wait, Sir Knight! This be our first meeting! Sorry, lady. The She's not questioning that his <laughs> skin is green. Oh. It's got, I mean, he's got a mask on. He's got nose. a helmet. <laughs> it's the breath. Helmet. I pray that you take this favor. Thanks. Is that uh? Is that uh, the the Cameron Diaz? Cameron Diaz. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah that is. <laughs> Something about Mary. <laughs> What kind of knight are you? One of a kind. What? Not emotionally ready for a commitment of uh, this magnitude. Really, I'm looking. Hey, that is unwanted physical contact. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's... The dragon's got lipstick on. I don't give permission to. Hey, what are you gonna do with that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, slow, slow mo uh, jump there. <laughs> it talks. Ah, nice. Smart. Okay, you two. For the exit. I'll take care of the dragon. Oh, he wasn't going to take it out. He's just oh. going to keep it stuck. Yeah, trap it. Ooh, he got across that bridge. <laughs> Make you feel bad. Come on. You rescued me. You're amazing. You're a little unorthodox, I'll admit. But I am eternally in your debt. <laughs> and where would a brave knight be without his noble steed? <laughs> All right, I hope you heard that. You may remove your helmet, good sir knight. I... I have helmet hair. I would look upon the face of my rescuer. How will you kiss me? What? Take off the helmet. I'm not going to. Take it off. No! Now. Okay! As you command. The big green hands? <laughs> the green hands? <laughs> Thought she'd be a little more shocked. You're a That's the face. An ogre. <laughs> I've seen that in memes. No. This is all wrong. I was sent to rescue you by Lord Farquaad. Well, then why didn't he come rescue me? Good question. You should ask him that when we get there. I'll be waiting for him right here. I'm a delivery boy. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. I put me down. <laughs> <laughs> She's just <laughs> <gives> chill up. <laughs> Now, how do you let her down real easy so her feelings aren't hurt? Just tell her she's not your true love. Hey! The sooner we get to Duloc, the better. Yeah, you're gonna love it there, Princess. It's beautiful! What's he like? Well, let me put it this way, Princess. There are those who think little of him. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll let you do the measuring when you see him tomorrow. It'll take that long? Shouldn't we stop to make camp? No. There's robbers in the woods. Whoa, time out. Shrek camping's definitely starting to sound good. <laughs> <laughs> I need to find somewhere to camp now. <laughs> His ears are down. <laughs> hey, 
Over here. Now, I don't think this is fit for a princess. It just needs a few homey touches. Homey touches? Well, gentlemen, I bid thee good night. Um, you want me to come in there and read your bedtime story? Because I will. I said good night. <laughs> <laughs> Shrek, what are you doing? Oh, come on. I was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that one, that's throwback. Look at the doggy on his back. Hey, can you tell my future from these stars? They tell stories. There's Bloodnut, the flatulent. <laughs> Look, there he is, and there's the group of hunters. Man, that ain't nothing but a bunch of little dots. You know, Donkey, sometimes things are more than they appear. <laughs> hey, Shrek. Thanks. It's all my dog lays sometimes. Donkey, there's no we. There's no our. First thing I'm going to do is build a 10 foot wall around my land. You cut me deep, Shrek. You cut me real deep just now. <laughs> hey, you know what I think. The whole wall thing is just a way to keep somebody out. No. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about it. Why do you want to talk about it? What are you trying to keep out? Just tell me that, Shrek. Who? Everyone, okay? For the love of Pete. People take one look at me and go, Ah, help, run! A big, stupid, ugly ogre. They judge me before they even know me. That's why I'm better off alone. Maybe she'll think a little, a little harder about how she's talking to him. When we met... I didn't think he was just a big, stupid, ugly ogre. Big shining one, right there, right? That, that, that one there? That's the moon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that picture. Again. Does. Show me again. Oh, oh, it's the bear rug. Oh. Mirror, mirror, oh. show her to me. Show me the princess. Look at oh, that yeah, chest rug. rug they gave to Bargamar. This guy. <laughs> Uh, oh, Paul Stanley over there. <laughs> they even got it up around his shoulders and upper arms and everything. Well, that's next level. <laughs> Is a mocking Jay? Might be. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoops. Fried legs. Oh no. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> they did not just do that. Some tasty eggs. <laughs> what? That's bad. <laughs> we kind of got off to a bad start yesterday. And I mean, after all, you did rescue me. We've got a big day ahead of us. <laughs> Better out than in, I always say. It's no way to behave in front of a princess. Uh, she's as nasty as you are. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're not exactly what I expected. Maybe you shouldn't judge people before you get to know them. Mm -hmm. Oh, ah. snap. La liberté! Hey! Princess! Oh. That's my princess. Go find your own. Look, pal. <laughs> Please let me introduce myself. Takes a wee percentage. But I'm not greedy. I risk you pretty dumb. Takes a little percentage. <laughs> Make it down. <laughs> oh, that's a good rush. A rock. Man, that was annoying. Oh, you little. <laughs> oh, look at Fiona go. <laughs> oh, the, the, hair, whip. the hair whip. Oh, oh Matrix! The old Matrix. <laughs> this is her hair. <laughs> oh, the guy with the accordions chasing her with the accordion. Whoa! Oh. That was like basically, the... uh, yeah, Carrie Ann Moss, basically. Or would no? She probably oh, would have done uh, Charlie's Angels before this, right? Uh, maybe. Two beliefs. I think so. Back there, that was amazing. When one lives alone, there's an arrow in your butt. What? Oh, no, th uh, this is all my fault. Oh, no, Shrek's gonna die. Donkey, I'm okay. Keep your legs elevated. Turn your head and cough. <laughs> Turn your head and cough. <laughs> Run into the woods and find me a blue flower with red thorn. And if you see a long tunnel, stay away from the light. Donkey! donkey. Blue flower, red thorn. Blue flower, red thorn. What are the flowers for? For getting rid of donkey. Ah, 
Easy with the Yankin. I'm sorry, but it but it has to come out. No, now, okay. <laughs> Time out. <laughs> you pie face. Blue flower red thorns. This would be so much easier if I wasn't colorblind. Over <laughs> the place. Ow! Not good. Okay, just about. Ow! Ow. <laughs> Look, if you wanted to be alone, all you had to do was ask. The princess here was just... Oh. <laughs> That's... Is that blood? eyes go cross. He out for blood. We go everywhere together. She <laughs> candy, <ugh. laughs> Balloon animal out of the peas in a pod. <laughs> I don't know if they'd. They fall. Oh, she's <laughs> just a slaughter. <laughs> there it is, Princess. Your future awaits you. You know, Shrek thinks Lord Farquaad is compensating for something, which I think means he has a really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried about Donkey. What? I mean, he, he doesn't look so good. What are you talking about? Next thing you know, you're on your back. You know, she's right. You look awful. I got this twinge in my neck, and when I turn my head like this, look. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I think I need a hug. <laughs> so they're going to camp out that close just yeah. so they can hang out some more? This is good. This is really good. Uh, what rats, is this? Rats. A weed rat. I guess I'll be dining a little differently tomorrow night. Maybe you can come visit me in the swamp sometime. Swamp toad soup, fish eye tartar, you name it. I'd like that. <laughs> <laughs> See the pyramids of... I, um, I was wondering, are you going to eat that? Oh. Seemed to the old man. <laughs> man, isn't this romance? <laughs> Just look at that sunset. It's very late. What? Wait a minute. I see what's going on here. You're afraid of the dark, uh, aren't you? Yes. Good night. Good night. Oh, and I got instincts, and I know that you two are digging on each other. I could feel it. Come on, Shrek. Wake up and smell the pheromones. <laughs> Just go in there and tell her how you feel. <laughs> She's a princess, and I'm an ogre. Yeah. An ogre. Uh. Princess! Princess, where are you? It's very spooky in here. I ain't playing no games. You guys see that? Oh. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no, oh, no help! Oh. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. What did you do with the princess? Don't that was what the mirror was talking about. Oh. God, you ate the princess! <laughs> Can you hear me? Shrek! This is me. Well, it's it's a perfect match then, isn't it? The uh, difference. I'm ugly, okay? No. Oh. Uh. I've been this way as long as I can remember. By night one way. By day another, until you find true love's first kiss, then take love's true form. When I was a little girl, a witch cast a spell on uh, me. Of course. Every night I become this. That's why I have to marry Lord Farquaad tomorrow. All right, all right, calm down. He's Look, not it's not that bad. Job. You're not that ugly. <laughs> not that. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> donkey. <laughs> How about if you don't marry Farquaad? You're kind of an ogre. And Shrek. Princess, I... Uh, how's it going, first of all? Good for me, too. I'm okay. I saw oh, this no, flower. No, no, no. And... This happens in every movie where somebody overhears something. We just saw oh. this in another movie. What did we just see this in? <sighs> Good look at you, donkey. Who could ever love a beast so hideous and ugly? Princess and ugly don't go together. She's talking about herself. Don't you see, donkey? That's just how it has to be. 
It's the only way to break the spell. It's gonna See, drive me. It's gonna drive it. me nuts. We just watched something <laughs> like this. Thomas, you won't tell. All right, I won't tell him. But you should. You know, before this is over, I'm gonna need a whole lot of serious therapy. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I, I went to the theater with my fiance. It was in a movie I saw in a theater. Oh. I rarely go to the theaters <laughs> anymore, but we had a little date night. <laughs> and something very similar to this happened to the movie I saw. I won't say which one because mm. we might watch it as a group. But it was like this exact thing. If you saw the movie, you'll know. Mm. It was like to a T. <laughs> this. <laughs> somebody walks oh, yeah. back up. Here's somebody over talking. It was this situation. Tell him not. I tell him, Shrek, Shrek. Oh, here comes the sun. I just missed it. Shrek, there's something I have to tell you. You don't have to tell me anything, princess. You heard what I said? Every word. I thought you'd understand. Oh, I understand. Oh, they're just totally missing it. That wouldn't matter to you. Yeah, well, it does. Right on uh, time. They're both so wrong mm -hmm. about what they're thinking. Uh, here's our guy. Oh. Princess Fiona. As <laughs> promised. Cleared out as agreed. Take it and go. It's not like it has feelings. No, uh, you're right. I ask your hand in marriage. Uh, For tomorrow we wed. No, uh, let's get married today. Oh, anxious are we? <laughs> you're right. The sooner the better. <laughs> Captain. Round up some guests. Shrek, what are you doing? You're letting her get away. I talked to her last night. Jeez. Yeah, I know you talked to her last night. Now, if you two are such good friends, why don't you follow her home? You're not coming home with me. I live alone. I thought... Yeah, you You know what? You thought wrong. Oh, oh Shrek really put his... He put his feelings out there hard. And yeah. he let down this wall. Yeah. And, and if you're somebody who's so introverted, you finally let down that wall and you get kicked, it's yeah. like, oh, hallelujah. What a beautiful uh, song. Where they care for music, do ya? You know this one? I don't know this one. It goes like this, the fourth, the fifth. Minor fall and the major lift. The baffled king composing, hallelujah. Seen your flag on the marble. Hallelujah. Powerful. Song. Oh, the dragon's back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I love ah, the way they see? did that. What a transition. I'm surprising that uh, Farquaad isn't, you know, having dinner with her. <laughs> You'd think, right? Oh. So much to plan, so much to plan. Oh, he can't see the bride before the wedding. I love that song. Donkey? That's your half and this is my half. Oh, your half. Now hand me that big old rock, the one that looks like your head. <laughs> This is my swamp. Our swamp. Hey, 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 come back here. I'm not through with you yet. Well, I'm through with you. Uh-uh. Now it's my turn. So you just shut up and pay attention. Whoa. Uh. You are mean to me. How come you came back? Because that's what friends do. And all she ever do was like you. Maybe even love you. She said I was ugly. A hideous creature. Oh, yeah, see? She wasn't talking about you. She was talking about uh, somebody else. She wasn't talking about me? You don't want to listen to me, right? Right? Donkey. Look, I'm sorry, all right? I guess I am just a big, stupid, ugly ogre. Oh, no, Can you dude. forgive me? Hey, that's what friends are for, right? Friends? Friends. What did Fiona say about me? What are you asking me for? Why don't you just go ask her? The wedding. We'll never make it in time. I have a wait. Uh oh. He's gonna ride in on a dragon. <laughs> oh, look at this. That would be awesome. Shot. I always want to say, yeah. look at this shot, but look at this. He pulled out your <laughs> reference to <laughs> weird <laughs> silence. Excuse me. Reminds uh, me of Princess Bride. Could we just skip ahead to the I do's? Oh, oh, oh. Right, well, right as I say that. 
Except this is <laughs> backwards. Switched. Fun. If we need you, I'll whistle. How about that? Look, you love this woman, don't you? Yes. You want to hold her? Yes. Please. Uh, yes. <laughs> 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 we got to check it out. And so, by the power. <laughs> it's up in the window. In oh, my no. He already said, Oh, for the love of Pete. I am back. Oh, now what does he want? I love Duloc, first of all. Very clean. What are you doing? <laughs> very clean. <laughs> I need to talk to you. Oh, now you want to talk? You can't marry him. And why not? I mean, oh, this is precious. <laughs> 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 is this true? Who cares? It's preposterous. Now kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if John did that on purpose. Oh, the sun's about to go down. By day oh. another. I wanted to show you before. Now, now what if she would have got the timing wrong? <laughs> like oh. they had to wait for another like five Just minutes. Give it a minute here. <laughs> okay. I promise this can happen. Well, that explains a lot. It's disgusting! Guards! I order you to get them out of my sight! Oh, well, he's about to oh. mess some shit up. Get him! Do some work here. Get him! Ah, the old headbutt. Oh, I will have order! Oh, 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 oh here comes. Oh, here comes the dragon. Oh, right through the window! <laughs> oh, 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 oh! I got a dragon oh, here and I'm just not afraid him. of him. I'm a donkey on the edge. He <laughs> <laughs> just ate for <laughs> I'm a donkey on the edge. Uh, Fiona? Lurr. I love you. Lurr. My guy. <laughs> My guy. Really, really. I love you too. You're <laughs> 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 Well, but well, that's her true love. We know that. Punch just out the the floor window. Are you all right? <gasps> yeah, see, that's what I thought because Shrek's her true love. I'm supposed to be beautiful. But you are beautiful. There we go. I was hoping this would be a happy ending. Ah, <laughs> just wait, just wait, just wait, though. It's the, the Smash Mouth version. Uh, <laughs> that's the way it seems. The blind man haunted all my dreams. <laughs> Look at the horses. The are, onions. And the horses are blind. And so is the guy doing the thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> the dragon caught it. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. <laughs> 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 He's doing his, uh, yeah. doing his James Brown impersonation. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, based folks, on the book by William That Stieg. was the one that started it all, and I'm so glad I got to watch it start to finish and finally understand all the memes, all the you know video uh, images or gifs or whatever you want to call it, and of course Smash Mouth just all over this one. <laughs> I man, <clears throat> this this one takes takes you back because of like the music and. And the animation, <laughs> oh, it only made 491 million, so it did all right. But yeah, this <laughs> so did, uh... this one really takes you back. Um, you know the they slip. You know they do this with a lot of uh, of the newer animated movies now, where they'll slip in just enough adult humor. Uh, this one it wasn't exactly slipped in. They they, they <laughs> hit it pretty good. So it was well, it was a them. lot of fun, but it wasn't like over the top. You know anything super dirty that. Uh, you know, most kids are yeah. probably going to get anyway, but a lot of fun for us, I think, to sit here and watch it. You know, for for being from 2001, the animation definitely looked a little 
dated by today's standards, mm. but still very, very good. And I think for its time, it was probably pretty groundbreaking, yeah. I would imagine, and still holds up. I loved the simplicity of the animation, if that makes sense. Like when they when they did the sunset scenes and the overhead shots and they were flying with the dragon, it was really well done, but it wasn't overly complicated. They didn't have to throw a bunch of stuff in it. So I really liked that. The, the castle where the, the dragon was at was really well done. And like I said, they, they kept it simple, but it was very, very good. So that made, you know, for a great animation on, on their part. The course we have you know, what would be a great fairy tale story without having some good messages and lessons. And I'll leave a lot of that to Oak here, but you know, never judge a book by its cover. And you know, you don't know what other people have been through. You know, you know, you should definitely look within to see, you know, where the true beauty is. And it was just a great, great message on that part. And you know, Fiona was so worried about who she was going to become and she wanted to become her true self. Well, it turned out that, her true self was the ogre because that was her true love with Shrek. So that was a lot of fun. And I can definitely see how they were able just to build off this franchise. I mean, what a starter. So many characters, all the fairy tale, um, I guess you call them characters, all the fairy tale characters that were in there. They, they got so little time, but you could just see there was potential there for the three pigs, for Pinocchio, for the gingerbread man. So much potential for these guys, and I'm sure that everyone was thinking that. So huge shout out to Mike Myers, Cameron Diaz, Eddie Murphy, John Lithgow, all the writers, all the animators. This had to take a ton of work back in the day to, to pull this off. And, and like I said earlier, Mike Myers was just hitting everything out of the park, whether it was Wayne's World or Austin Powers or this. The guy was just delivering on everything, not to mention Saturday Night Live. So this one was a lot of fun for me. Yeah, this was, I mean, this was incredible. Like, you know, so I said in the intro, um, I'd seen bits and pieces of this before. So, you know, you're familiar with some of the characters, but as far as the story from start to finish and really understanding what this movie was about and really what it's about is... Um, you know, it's 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 about accepting yourself for, you know, really for for who you are um, on the inside. It's about not judging other people on what you see on the outside, and it's uh, about it's about friendship and it's about just I don't know, man. This was such a good movie. Like it's you watch some of these movies, and we've watched some that were were really fun. We watch animated movies that are are really fun. And then we watched some that hit really hard. And, and I, I revert back to Coco. I'm not going to look. I love this. And it's getting a very high score. <laughs> um, but I'm I, I'm not going to try to compare it to Coco. Yeah. And it, it, Coco hit a little different for me for this. But I, I use Coco as an example because it's an animated movie that hits really hard. And then, look, we've watched animated movies that were that were really fun you know I've, I've watched some with my son that the likelihood of us doing on the channel is a little lower mm -hmm. that were that were fun and, and in fact i'll bring it up um <clears throat> we recently took our little guy to see a movie called migration in the theaters about oh, a family of ducks, ducks migrating it was a fun movie it was very fun but um and, and maybe we'll watch it with these guys i don't know if it's the type of movie that we'll watch on the channel even for animation it doesn't have um it's, it's fun, but it doesn't have like that emotional hit, you know? Like, of course, they work their lessons into it because it's an animated kids movie and it has the humor for adults. But this one is just feels like a really powerful lesson and answer is rolling through some of the um, critical response and, and some of the um, praises that it's gotten. I think it said it was number two on like the top 100 all-time family movies next to like E.T., yeah. you know what I mean? Um, yeah, Shrek was ranked second in a Channel 4 poll of 100 Greatest Family Films, losing out only to E.T. Um, I mean, it's, yeah, it's a just, lot of rewatchability. Yeah, I mean, one. a lot of rewatchability and, and just great lessons. Look, we all, I'm not going to say we all, but so many of us um, have things that we're self-conscious about, have doubts, you know, confidence is, is waning sometimes and it comes and it goes and... And, you know, and, and that can impact your self-esteem. It can impact, you know, whether you're an introvert or an extrovert and all these different things in, in life. And and this was a, just a great movie. It's like Shrek was, you know, he was so, you know, he was so just isolated. And you thought, okay, he's an old girl living in a swamp. And there's a lot of people who legitimately 
just like being alone, yeah. right? And so mm-hmm. you don't, when they started the movie, you think, okay, he just likes being alone, right? And then later on when they're there and he starts talking about how people judge him and, and this and that before they even know him. And it's like, okay, this isn't somebody who just likes being alone. This is somebody who doesn't like the way people treat him. And he builds a wall around himself, uh, you know, physically and, you know, proverbially to, to protect himself. And that's why there's the layers, you know? And then, of course, we had... Fiona, who was, you know, she had this perfect, you know, life pictured and how things were supposed to go, but she had this big secret that she was so, like, ashamed of. And instead of saying, you know, I just need to find somebody who accepts me for who I am and 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 and, and what I become when the sun goes down, she was so just like, oh, I can't let anybody see me, you know. And even, and that was the tough thing is like, you'd think like if she'd be okay with anybody seeing her like that. It would be Shrek. Yeah, because in what she got to lose. Yeah, and it's yeah. it's tough. It's an interesting lesson because sometimes it's, you know, and and this relates to so many different things. But you can tell somebody like, look, I understand. I've been there, or you could know that somebody else has gone through some things, maybe similar to things that you've faced in life. And sometimes you're still not comfortable like opening up to other people who might have great insight. You know, and if anybody knows how um, Fiona was feeling. Um, or whatever, or if anybody would think she was going to be beautiful, it would have been Shrek. And even around him, somebody she got to know really well, she still had this guard up. And it's it's such a great story. And it, but it's it's not just like it's it's just about not judging anybody, right? And I think, look, if I'm going to just just be like super honest here, I think people who you know who who you know aren't society's perfect picture of like you know a princess or a, or a prince, like you know they feel like they're easier people to judge and they feel like oh pretty people have it so easy and there's there's different pressures and there's you know there's different different things that that everybody deals with and i know sometimes it's hard to hear and people don't like hearing that but that's you know that's the reality of it and sometimes it's just a matter of keeping up a facade like keeping up this image you know like oh i'm i'm supposed to be the princess so i'm not supposed to burp and i'm not supposed to eat this and you know i'm not supposed to whatever and it's like at the end of the day, you just have to live a life that is, is going to make you happy. Don't judge other people based on the way they look. And if people judge you based on the way you look, just, I don't know, say, brush it off and say, fuck them, right? You know, I mean, <laughs> like, that's... Great tale for uh, children. Yeah, that's, yeah. that was the moral kids, of the story. Kids aren't watching fuck this. Em. Kids aren't watching <laughs> this. But, like, look, we're right. adults watching this. Right. So kids are going to watch this. And, look, a hundred a thousand percent chance I'm watching this with my son in the lesson that he's going to get from dad is you never judge somebody by the way they look because somebody who's a big scary ogre might be the best person on the face of the earth and somebody who's supposed to be the prince might be completely void of any moral character. I'll probably use different terms than that <laughs> around my son. <laughs> no, but, that'd be uh, good. Get his get his uh, vocabulary, right, you know, yep. big but and if bold. We're having a, if we're having a chat with adults and adults are watching this, look, if somebody doesn't, if somebody's going to judge you based on nothing more than how you look, fuck them. That's that's it. Look, and, and it's, it's <clears throat> I'm not going to say this, this hits, because obviously it's different but the people who have the people who watch this channel we've you know we've been lucky to have a pretty fair amount of subscribers it, it hasn't been a small number of times where people have commented whether it be about myself mason or answer that they first saw our videos and thought oh like oh you know meatheads and then you know they stayed at this part and <laughs> you know they see some of our other stuff that we do where you know we're pretty emotionally transparent here on this channel um for better or worse or otherwise and uh and there's been a lot of times where people have just openly said hey we kind of thought you guys were going to meet heads be meat heads and you know we we were shocked and so you know f- from the minute i got into you know weightlifting you know and uh you know i've, I've had people judge me uh, on how i look you know i'd like well, to think i don't look those like are a- called judges yeah they're called judges but, but, at the competition. The stage, yeah, so on the stage. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's but, what you you're know, if that's what you're getting at. Right, that's right. what people, I wanted them to know. Me. But you but you know what I'm saying though, you know, like people look at you, yeah. oh, you I, I, meet it must be must be dumb, must be co- the, the compensating thing. Of course, anybody who's you know, bodybuilders get the compensating joke a lot. You know, I have like a, and I like I have Lord Farquhar. I have a castle. Big, I have a big truck, and I I'm a bodybuilder. <laughs> like, what am I compensating for? You know, but I, I just I thought this Wait. movie I thought this movie was incredible. Um, Mike Myers did a great job. I had no idea 
and, and I haven't seen it start to finish before, but I've seen a lot of it in pop, pop culture. Yeah. But the answer was just going through Wikipedia. I had zero idea that Chris Farley was supposed to be. Yeah, the uh, Chris Farley, yeah. according to David Spade, had five days left. Five days left. And there left. is an animatronic or uh, an animation, like, done, yeah, storyboard wise. With Chris Farley's like, voice, I would put like to, to it. take a look at that because he was. That's so like like how this came out in 2001. That's how long it used to take animated movies back in the a day. Long time. Yeah. Remember, I think they signed on. From what I remember hearing was Tom Hanks and Tim Allen did the voiceovers for Toy Story like four years before it came out. Yeah, yeah. yeah the animation can yeah, the can take a long crazy. time. But I mean, everybody yeah. everybody did an amazing job. Um, uh, Mike Myers did an amazing job. Um, Cameron Diaz did an amazing job, but I think can we, can we all agree that Donkey steals? <laughs> oh yeah, like Eddie yeah, Murphy. Eddie Murphy got some awards. Completely for that. steals this yeah, I was show. Reading this. There, he was the first person to do an animated role that got a uh, a BAFTA or something like for that. For as much as I love this movie and I love this story, I think if you take Donk and look, that can be said about a lot of sure. animated movies, right? Like, yes, of course, Oak. If you take out one of the main characters, yeah. it's going to impact the movie. But I think. I think Eddie Murphy's character just uh, just killed it, but this was this was so much fun. I'm not going to say a surprise um, that it was good because it's been all over pop culture, and For you don't years. make you don't make however many sequels they made and all the spinoffs if it's not good. Um, but um, I I you know I uh, I thought we were in, and I know there's a bunch of sequels. I thought we were getting. A cat somewhere, but apparently that's in, in one well, of the sequels. Later on, we'll watch yeah. all Maybe of them. So one of the next ones. I, uh, I we're, uh, we're, I'm guessing the cat's going to come into play. All I know again is the, I know one the meme, meme, the meme, yeah. one meme of a I mean, cat. And I know it's from, <laughs> I know it's from Shrek, but I wasn't sure if we we're going to get that. But I, in any regard, I did like how Eddie Murphy dropped in a little bit of his stand-up humor. If I'm yeah. a huge See, Eddie Murphy catch, fan, I didn't catch that. yeah, I'm a huge Eddie Murphy fan. Basically, grew up on him as a kid, so I caught a lot of his lines he had. He's used in his stand-up comedy. Yeah. Well, like for me, like I loved all the fact that they got all the fairy tales in there. You know, you had Peter Pan, you had Pinocchio, you had the <laughs> so three, the potential. three, the three blind, the three blind mice. I thought that was really good. The, the 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 three little pigs. You had you had the wolf waiting in the freaking in the bed. I mean, this was this was fun with that. I loved the wrestling scene. <laughs> oh, I that mean, was great. Because when I initially saw it, as I was a wrestling big wrestling fan. I mean, still am, but being a big wrestling fan, seeing it like knowing all the moves, especially and that how, they actually did. Moves. How devastating the tombstone oh, pile tra- Like he boom. <laughs> and so that was great. I love that the whole overcompensating for things with Lord Farquaad. I mean John Lithgow did great oh, in that and like God, Lithgow was and just so like good. just having the, the dumb henchman, he's like three, three, and yeah. then he did the odd like and the then he showed game. him breaking the mirror. <laughs> Them doing so like a, this might not make the cut with the whole uh with the Muffin Man, so that's what I remember in Spanish class, <laughs> yeah, laughing so hard at the, do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! And in Spanish, like, they're all laughing, I'm la- laughing because it sounds funny, he's like, what is he even saying? And my buddy goes, because he saw the movie, he's like, do you know the Muffin Man? And he's like, the Muffin Man! The Muffin. So we were always <laughs> laughing at that. And then what you said about the humor is it it had the highbrow humor, and it had the lowbrow humor, it's and it had good, the innuendos, yeah. but not too much, and like, you know, it's like even with Eddie Murphy going, like, nobody wants to kiss ass, you know, yeah. uh, going i'm gonna go save my ass you know and stuff like that so they had all the humor for everyone involved so i can see why this is a great family movie because you know some of the movies nowadays they are for kids but they'll throw in the adult jokes that might go over the heads of the kids and so here it didn't it didn't deter from that but yeah. it was a lot of fun with yeah it. i don't think we've seen anything be like this no right? it has no. that vibe to it and uh and you would probably know better than me answer but i mean you know 2001 this came out it seemed like shrek kind of set the bar for where animated movies had to go and what they had to accomplish i, I mean, just i mean i mean the only the big one that was like this that might have came out before it was toy story yeah and that was uh, so maybe I mean, that's the one that did it man i haven't seen that one since i was a kid i haven't seen so maybe that could yeah, see be I, i've never seen any the channel, toy stories yeah. i'm sure we'll get to them uh so no spoilers there but yeah, it just seems like somewhere around that 2000s mark these animated movies when they, they really s- kicked it up and, and this they got was, the technology this was about the time yeah that they started moving from just straight up animation that right. took a long time in it in and of itself to move towards this whole computer driven mm-hmm. you know animation from dreams dreamworks and and our, the rest of our yeah, favorites pixar. and pixar thank you i couldn't think of it i, I don't you know and it, it's weird because this is how they plan it right like i don't remember 
animated movies when I was younger. And these people are going to say, yeah, exactly. Oh, that's how they do it. I don't remember if animated movies pre-2000 included as much adult humor as this. I haven't watched a lot of the old Disney stuff. You know, I've watched Lion King, and I'm, I'm trying to think whether there's any real adult well, humor there's, in Well, there's King. the parent when he lays down and the dust goes up. It says sex in the... Oh, yeah, that. There's I mean, stuff they like would that. work stuff in there. But, I mean, it's... it's When did, like... Uh, and, I, and, and again, I would think, I, a, I would I've think Aladdin bits, would have some. I've seen yeah, bits Aladdin. and pieces of Toy Story as well, kind of the same as this. You know, I bought my nephew when he was younger, you know, a million Toy Story toys, so I know all the characters, but I haven't seen it ever start to finish. But I, you know, is is there is there a, just without spoilers? Is there a, the adult type humor? And, See, that's the thing. Is yeah, like I said, I haven't seen it yeah, since it's, like it's early on it came out. It's not, I believe yeah. I still have it on VHS. Now it's like you watch. You know what that is? Now it's like you watch these movies and they're these animated movies for kids, and they throw in enough yeah. adult humor, and they it's so like. It's so adult yeah. that it just just right over the kid's head. Where sometimes, as adults, you're like, "Holy shit!" Yeah, did I, think they really, I think it's like, when they started. They, really? they started getting the big name actors and actresses for it. And I think that's maybe where it started because yeah. like, uh, I must have watched 101 Dalmatians, the original, and the Robin wow. Hood with you know the foxes. Oh, and the bears. that was such a good one. And, uh, that was a know, good one. I've watched them a lot, and I don't recall much adult humor like in there. I think, like you were saying, I mean, Aladdin might have just because it's. Robin Williams and he's gonna go maybe a little was, off the cuff but the start, answer, I was but gonna yeah. have you scroll down just a little bit on the voice cast because I wanted to do a big shout out um, Jim Cummings if you highlight him so it's it's funny I just saw him on a YouTube video not long ago and I would have never um, uh, I would have never correlated his his name with his voice mm -hmm. Jim Cummings, and I'm just going to read this quick, is an American voice actor beginning his career in the 80s, has done almost 400 roles, um, including Winnie the Pooh since 88, Tigger since 89. He's done 400 roles, and I saw a video with him on YouTube. Guys, if you get a chance, go look up um, Jim or James Cummings, C-U-M-M-I-N-G-S, on YouTube, and they have him sitting there going through all of his voices, his, his voice characters, and he's so talented, and it's so cool that um that they got him yeah when i heard his voice where what i know him as is uh uh for because for, he's in oh, darkwing, darkwing duck, duck, duck Chandler, and like and then i, I the swear i swear he's the uh yeah then cat on cat dog but then he's uh i want to say he's pete in um the goof troop and stuff like that oh, too, tasmanian so. devil he's <laughs> yeah. the i mean he's done so much so that was cool that they um they brought in a, a real legend of voice work you know yeah, so, yeah. because but, when he was yeah the leader, that's what I thought. So I think uh, yeah, let's, let's get to the scores. We're running out of time. Here. There's, there's a little, oh no, oh, that's for you. That's for you. Yeah, maybe leave that. Yeah. Up. yeah, boy, folks, this was a good one. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. Like I said, a movie that really started something big with a lot of different uh, actors that we love here and i started a whole franchise that was a lot of fun so i'm a little bit torn on how to score it because it was great we had a lot of fun you know do i go with the full five or do i hold back knowing that there's more but then again i think you have to judge a movie on what you're presented with you can't go in knowing what the other ones are going to be so this is your long it's, roundabout way of saying it's, a five. it's my long roundabout way of saying I, I it's a five folks it's it's a five it's it started it all this is where this is where it started i don't know what else to say it was a lot of fun they nailed everything in this well yeah i like i said i've seen this multiple times loved it every single time watching it even if i would jump in halfway through a quarter of the way through or three-fourths of the way through so for me it's an easy five i but i what's funny is i i don't i have not seen the sequels so yeah. this is oh, gonna you be haven't fun seen any me. of the other ones no oh, this oh, is gonna this be, is be good i don't Fresh know all of us folks and and the thing is though too is like how you said you might be going through channels i think i might have seen a better piece and i'll be like nope this isn't the first one and it's like halfway or a quarter i'm not gonna watch it now i want to watch yeah. it from the beginning yeah. so yeah. yeah i've never never uh, never seen another two even though i love this one so definitely psyched for the next ones all right sir is there anybody who's actually wondering what score i'm gonna give this a movie about 
being comfortable in your own skin, a movie about not judging other people based on their looks, a movie about going after true love, and a movie about real friendship through thick and thin. Easy five for me. Yeah, Easy five. That. This was absolutely incredible. And it's it's 20, so it's 23 years old. Yeah. I've been seeing bits and pieces and pop culture stuff for this movie forever. So for me to come in and finally see it to start to finish. Yeah. And you you know, sometimes you wonder what was all the hype about? Well, it does make sense. Oh, you gave it little ears. All right, so if you can see that, I don't know. Look at that. He gave it the little Shrek ears. So, hey, that's one down. We have at least three, Many. and then supposedly there's a fifth one in the works. So oh, for Abdenol, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. We'll catch you on the next one, pals.